What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, the bad diggity dizzle, back with another New York Giants video. Before we get into the video, just want to let everybody know uh, I will be shaving by the time we have Talking Giants tonight. I hope you guys will all tune in for Talking Giants over there on the Entertainer Talk and Sports' this channel. Uh, even though it's the offseason, always find some Giants stuff to talk about. And last week, we just kind of talked about broad sports in general, some baseball. So who knows um, exactly what we're going to get tonight. But obviously, we'll start with the Giants, and uh, hopefully we see you guys over there as well. Always appreciate the support on that show. You guys have been phenomenal. So as we get into uh, football season here, obviously, we'll have a lot more to talk about. In this video, I want to talk about the New York Giants and their team speed. Daniel Jeremiah came out with a video, or I'm sorry, an article talking about how the Giants are the fastest team in the 11 personnel in the NFL. Now, if you don't know what the 11 personnel is, it's three wide receivers, one tight end, one wide receiver. They have an average speed with that set of 4-4-2. Four, four, now, that is incredibly fast. You know, uh, compared to the Kansas City Chiefs, who are considered an incredibly fast offensive team, their 11 personnel was second best, 4-4-5. Four, four, now, the Giants have Darius Slayton. He runs 4-3-9. Golden Tate, a 4-4-2. Sterling Shepard, a 4-4-8. Saquon Barkley a 4-4-1 and Evan Ingram a 4-4-2. So the Giants obviously have added a ton of speed. They also did this on defense. You know, you got Darnay Holmes, you got Corey Ballantyne, you got James Bradbury. They all run under a 4-5-40. So the Giants uh, addressed a big-time need, which is speed. You could also add Corey Coleman in there when he's healthy. He runs a 4-3-7. So the Giants do have incredibly fast you know, players on this team, which is certainly something that we need. There is no substitute for speed. They always say speed kills, and then you add a guy like an undrafted free agent, like a Derek Dillon who runs a 4-2-8. The Giants have got speed all over the place. But the New York Giants can do a lot with this speed. Again, these guys got to stay healthy. I mean, that's been the problem. You know, Evan Ingram has not been on the field. Saquon Barkley missed time last year. Sterling Shepard's missed time with concussions. These guys all got to stay healthy. But this is the thing. The Giants haven't been able to get separation, and that's something that a lot of people talk about. Giants receivers can't get separation. The Giants receivers can't get separation. But, you know, they probably haven't had time to get separation because there's been no protection for Daniel Jones. And it's not like Daniel Jones has five seconds to be back there so the wide receivers do get separation. And that could be the big difference this year, bringing in the guy like Andrew Thomas. You know, I don't know how much Matt Parrott's going to play or Shane Lemieux, but they obviously address this offensive line. Moose sold her over to the right side. You expect Will Hernandez to bounce back. Zeitler had a good year. Now, the center is still a big-time question mark here. We don't know if that's going to be Spencer Pulley. We don't know if it's going to be Jalapio. We don't know if it's going to be Nick Gates. We don't know if it's going to be Shane Lemieux. I don't know who it's going to be. The center position is up for grabs when it comes to training camp. So it'll be very, very interesting to see exactly what they do. Uh, I think Andrew Thomas will play left tackle right from the beginning, and I think that they will move Nate Solder over to right tackle. Perhaps he plays there at Gates. Maybe Gates plays some right guard for some depth. Uh, who knows if Parrott gets in there at right tackle. We don't know how much Cam Fleming is going to play, but the Giants do have some depth at offensive line as well, and they did increase it a lot. They did improve it. So again, being able to run the ball at Saquon Barkley and giving Daniel Jones more time will allow these speed receivers and your speedy tight end to get separation, to get big plays down the field. And we all know, because I've discussed this a number of times, and shout out to Giants Alliance for bringing it to my attention a couple weeks ago, that Daniel Jones was the most accurate quarterback in in the league and passes over 20 yards down the field. So you give Daniel Jones some time, you get these defenders, you know, biting on some play action passing because you're able to run the ball. That allows guys like Shepard, like Slayton, like Ingham to get behind the defense. And there could be a plethora of big plays for the New York Giants. I know Giants fans are excited about this offense this year, and they should be. I'm one of the, I'm a firm believer that Daniel Jones, who's shown a ton of leadership, the workouts in Texas, the adding 10 pounds of muscle, throwing with the receivers, working with Cutcliffe, adding the 10 pounds of muscle, I, I, you know, working on the fumble. I think I said the 10 pounds of muscle already. But working on the fumbling issue, he obviously wants to be a leader. He obviously wants to take that next step forward as the Saquon Barkley. So you've got your two you know, horses back there. Now you've got an offensive line to protect them. There's no reason to believe the Giants can't be a top 10 offense this year. I firmly believe that they can be a top 10 offense this year. And this just goes to show you that they have a ton of team speed, especially in that 11 personnel, because everybody thinks the Kansas City Chiefs are incredibly fast. We know Tyreek Hill is an absolute monster when it comes to speed. But overall, in the 11 package, in the 11 personnel, there is not a faster team in the NFL than the New York Giants. Should be an interesting season for sure. Looking forward to it. As always, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, leave your comments below, and hopefully we see you tonight for Talking Giants over on the Entertainment Talking Sports channel. Until then, 
The weekend's here. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. It's the bad diggity dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!